I get it. You feel like a hamster on a wheel. You feel like the world around you is crashing down. You feel like you can't get a grip on anything. You feel like your head is going to explode. All you hear are voices around you and you feel like you're standing in the middle of this tornado. I get it, let's fix it. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Audrey here, the fit, fearless, and faithful mom. If you're new to my community, welcome. Would love for you to tap that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell so that you are updated when I post videos. Today's video is gonna be all about getting you organized in the midst of the coronavirus and the self-quarantining for the next month since we are in it to win it for the entire month of April, but now is the time to really harness getting your schedule together so that you can really harness it thereafter. So Tim, I am going to show you my actual schedule of every single day and how I block schedule things because I have been block scheduling for years and I can't tell you how much it has changed my world and my life and how I go about my day. Block scheduling is key to not just like being productive and being this busy bee, but for mental clarity. Because if you get caught up in doing certain things for, for longer than expected, then it just throws off throws you off keel. And we don't want that, especially right now when we're trying to hold on to as much normalcy as possible. So let's get kickstarted. So here we are at my blog. I'm going to be showing you four different schedules. I'm going to show you a schedule that I had made a while back. And the reason why I'm going to show it to you is because I want to show you how it has changed. So if you go over here to the schedule section, here I have like the preschool and all that. Okay, let's go to my daily schedule here. My usual wake up time is between 4.30 and 5 o'clock. I'm not going to lie with this whole corona thing though. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, I've just been off. So definitely uh, 4.45 is usually the, the wake up time. So as you can see here, pretty much every day is a about the same with the exception of Spanish here. So I'm going to get to that in a moment, but we're going to keep scrolling down right now. I have it kind of sort of divided up between the Littles and Kyler. As you can see here at the end of the day is when I keep the blogging and websiting and all that and it see I have Spanish here the reason why I wanted to show you these different calendars is to show you the different stages in life this calendar is actually a little bit older it's um, I posted it about a year ago and I'm going to get ready to update some other calendars for you on the blog here but my point is that you don't have to box yourself into something. I had lofty goals of starting to learn Spanish, but you know what? I am really not in that mind frame right now. I just can't. I have other stuff that I want to do. And so that's where you need to figure out what your priorities are, how you are going to be doing stuff. Is it really necessary? And what is your why? So for Spanish, for instance, that's really cool. But what is the why? If it's just because it's cool, uh, I, that's not a good reason. And so that has kind of petered out. My main focus is making sure that I get in my faith formation for me personally, and then doing a little something else on the side, which right now is doing the brain course. So now I'm going to show you the schedule that I had been following pre-corona. So here we go. This is actually in my Etsy shop here. So if you go to my Etsy shop, within this whole wellness bundle that you can get. You actually see my personal schedule, which I'm showing you here. So the usual 4.30 prayer, I'm doing a nutrition course. And what I don't like to do is I don't like to box myself into anything every single day because, you know, we need that time to really 
um, decompress a little bit. And me personally, I tend to get tunnel vision. I don't want to get tunnel vision. So instead of doing a nutrition course every single morning, which is the brain course that I'm taking, you know, on Tuesdays I might read. Okay. Then social media, I do not look at social media. This says every single morning. I do have, you know, 5.30, 6.30 as the social media time. However, within the past couple months, honestly, I don't look at social media until the afternoon. I want you to comment below, uh, send me a message, send me something telling me how much your life has changed by not looking at social media or looking at your email or anything like that within the first couple hours. I see a lot of people talking about the first hour, but I really, really want you to not look at social media until you have gotten every part of your mind mentally, physically done. Okay. Um, and what this social media means is that uh, not only like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, this also means email as well. So that, that's counted into the social media time. Definitely my workout in the morning shower. We were doing the Baltimore catechism and prayers in the morning, but that's changed. I'll get to that. Tuesday and Thursday is always my laundry day, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And so today is Thursday. So you betcha laundry is sitting, waiting to be folded on the couch right now. And I also use Wednesday nights. Um, Wednesday nights and Thursdays for my time period to do uh, clean, cleaning the house. So my house is squeaky clean right now, which is lovely. I hand wash my floors and I love it. Um, after lunch, I start to tidy up the school day a little bit. Sometimes Kyler has a little bit more to do. My husband is huge on me having, quote, a planning period. So that is here for the mid-afternoon so that I can just, you know, look at Kyler's work. I do not look at her work. Um, as she does it because I block schedule. I block schedule my homeschooling as well. And so with block scheduling my homeschooling, that includes uh, fielding questions at a certain time or checking work at a certain time. So this is usually when I start to correct her work, play time, prep dinner, and if there's a couple other, you know, um, messages, like Cody will call me and, and say, hey, like, I need you to sign something, or hey, like, is there, so I, I usually reserve that time um, there, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we have different activities, bath and bed, folding the laundry, laundry lately has been um, a joint effort by everyone, the kids have started to, to really pitch in and help out which is really nice. Um, social media, this is the second time that I have social media listed. And that is because I checked it once earlier in the day and it might be in the morning, but usually it has been during this planning period here in the middle of the day. Because by that point, everybody's kicking around. Uh, emails might be sent back and forth. And so I'll get, I'll get on there. Do not go to bed looking at my email. So just like I don't wake up in the morning looking at email, I do not go to bed looking at social media, looking at anything like that. Sometimes I slip up, of course, but majority of the time, I'll say 95% of the time, I do not look at any of this because I'll read the Bible or an, uh, one chapter of another book before I go to bed or, you know, Cody and I have kind of been lax. So some nights he'll be like, look, I, you know, let's just, let's just sit. And so we'll go outside and light a fire or something like that, or we'll just watch TV. When you buy my wellness book, there's clickable links. So see how it turned to a little hand here? Yep, it'll take you straight over into my organizational video. Let's take a peek at my other calendar here. Let's take a look at the third calendar. This is handwritten today. I went and sat outside today and I just hand wrote it because I said, you know what, I just need I need a little something to, to kind of go by. So this is my Corona style uh, schedule that we have here. Uh, waking up at five, and if I if I happen to sleep in over the next month a little bit, no big deal. I actually slept until 8.15 this morning, which is super rare. And honestly, that's probably because the night before, I didn't go to bed until 3 a.m. and I got two and a half hours of sleep. So last night, you know, I needed my Z's. Here we go, wake up. Rosary, Missal, and Bible. So this is what has changed from the previous calendar that, that you'll look at. 
I really want to get my Bible reading in. I want to spend good quality time with the Lord before I start my day. After that is going to be my self-improvement or my educational time. One of the things that I have worked on with my Catholic therapist over the past couple of years is my tunnel vision. So I tend to get tunnel vision with things and then I just want to keep diving and diving and diving. And while that's a really good thing, um, for me, I then get tunnel vision and I like start to not pay attention to any other books or anything. And so what I like doing is almost like a, a, a decompressor because the Bible is heavy stuff. And uh, my other spiritual reading that I do sometimes is heavy stuff. And so uh, what I'm doing right now is, you know, reading all about the brain. Can't say enough about it. All right, here we go. Prepping breakfast is usually around 6.45, 7.15. I do not box myself into a time frame completely. I used to do that and it just, it's just not good um, to, to do that. So I leave myself a little bit of wiggle room, which is uh, why you can see 7.15 to 7.30. I, I didn't drag down the 7.15. I give myself a buffer. PWD stands for pre-workout drink. So I, while I'm prepping breakfast, I have my pre-workout drink, then working out. And 9 to 11 right now, we're just going to do some math, um, just one sheet of math. I, I'm really not going to be doing a lot of schooling, uh, f formal, formal schooling. We're going to do some just reading together, just reading books and just, um, just relaxing. If kids don't play video games, cool. Playing lunch and learn. Here is the difference between the other calendars is the rosary chaplet and we are going over the mass right now which is so much fun so that the kids understand the mass i moved this instead of it being in the morning um it really has been working out nicely i'm finding that the kids are paying attention even more when we are praying and studying our faith formation so Definitely, um, this this has been really nice. The kids actually lead us in the rosary and the chaplets. All right, here we go. Here's what we're going to look like post-corona. Going back to my 415, okay? Uh, same thing, self-education, working out. Here we go. Breakfast, shower, open the school table, projects and books. Keeping that rosary, chaplet, faith formation here. And we are going to be relaxing our schooling. Let's get kickstarted with faith. I've done several videos that you can check out here and here on getting the most out of your faith. Now, at the beginning of Lent, I posted making the most of your Lenten seasons. You can totally check that video out. I would highly recommend you doing so. But what I really want you to do over the next month is continue with your Lenten trend. Whatever spiritual book you have chosen, I want you to keep going. If you've finished a book, I want you to pick one spiritual book that you know that you can truly dive into over the next 30 days. And what I also want you to do is I want you to pick a complimenting YouTube video or podcast that is going to really solidify what you're reading in order to help you to dive even more and really glean all the information, the wonderful information that is in that book. Now, when are you going to incorporate your faith? Well, for me, my faith is the crucial part throughout my entire day. We pray throughout the day. I pray on my own in the morning. As soon as I wake up in the morning, and I highly suggest starting off with like 15 to 20 minutes and then gradually increasing from there. Do your best, forget the rest, as Tony says from P90X. You have to have time with your family in prayer, and you can check out those videos here and here so that you can watch them with your children um, as well to, to really make the most out of this time. But once you get your faith game down pat, taking care of yourself physically is super important. Look, the Lord lives within you. The Lord dwells within you. What do we do for our fitness? Well, we block schedule that as well. Now, right now, 
the weather is getting to be beautiful, pick something, pick a goal. And I don't want it to be just any goal of like, okay, by the time this coronation is over and this quarantining is over, I want to lose 20 pounds and I want to go back and look like, no, 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 no. What I want you to do is I want you to pick something that you are actually going to focus on. I want you to pick a weight, start off with five pounds. So you know what, by the time this is over with, I really want to increase my weight that I'm actually like using. I want to increase it to eight pounds. I want to get stronger. I want my body to be stronger. Stop focusing on, on the weight and everything. But you need to block that time out. I tell my kids, and actually my husband is amazing at this. I don't mind the kids coming in and out of the gym, but sometimes I really do just want that time alone in the gym by myself. And so my husband actually helps me out with that. And he's like, guys, Mommy is working out right now. Like this is this is her time. And we need that time especially right now because we are we are it's a beautiful gift to be spending time with your family, but you still need time to work on yourself. So make sure that you are blocking out that time in your day, writing it on your calendar. I have a calendar that is in my wellness book that I have in my Etsy shop. So make sure that you are taking the time to actually block schedule that out. Now you can also check out the video here where I list my top fitness and faith apps of 2020 so that can get you going too. Great app for your fitness is going to be Peloton. Huge, huge, huge fan. Check out that video, super informative, super helpful. Linked up here, linked down below. Now. The next thing is gonna be homeschool. I know a lot of you have been brought home to homeschool right now, and I get it. You're still having to work, some of you. You are trying to juggle your job while also having your kids at home, and you are being run ragged right now, and I am praying for you. If I can help you in any way, please, please let me know. But if you are also a homeschool mom, Look, you have to set a schedule for your home school after you get your faith done, after you get your fitness done. So you're taking care of yourself mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. And so all those little duckies are in a line, but then your homeschool needs to also be in line too. No kids, now, hey look, we're going into, into school time. You can check out the video that, the several homeschool videos that I have about organization and what to do and how to do it and whatnot. But the main, main thing is going to be doing that block scheduling for your homeschool. And while you're doing your, your homeschooling with your children, you can also be, if you have to do your work, set it up. And, and what I mentioned before is while you're in the middle of, of doing like your homeschool time, whatever the schooling system has given to your children, your kids can do it. Your, your kids can do it on their own it's because they're smart and they're beautiful and they're amazing. One of the things that I, that I tell my kids when they have a question, like so this is just like normal homeschool mama stuff, is that like I tell my kids, kids, you have a nice, luscious, big, round, beautiful brain, and I want you to use it. And if it hurts, that's a good thing because that means connections are being made. So allow your kids to do everything that they can on their own and block schedule questions. So within your homeschool period, you really need to block schedule questions so that you can, so that you're not fielding questions all over the place because then you're going to run yourself ragged and it won't work for anyone. So block schedule within the block schedule for your homeschool. Now in regards to life, one of my main things is going to be if you want to do something for yourself, which I really think that you should, you gotta block that time out. So once you take care of your top priorities, your top priority right now is taking care of your family, then work, then everything else, which is how it should be. And so when you're done with that, those, those extra books or that extra stuff that you want to do has to be blocked in. And I always go back to social media. You got to block that out too. If your fitness, your faith, your homeschool, your life, your fearless part are all intertwining, then that's when you start feeling like a hamster on a wheel. And that's when everything is just going to, it's just going to be like a domino effect. So that extra fun stuff, make sure that you're blocking that in as well. And 
A lot of the times it might come in the middle of the day when you need that planning period and when you need just those like 30 minutes, 40 minutes to just have something for yourself. Just have that quiet time and that's okay to have that. So block that in and then at the end of the day, when the day is done, gone the sun and all the kids go to bed, you can then have that other life period where you take time for yourself, where you take time for your spouse, especially. Right here, you'll see an organizational video that I have done before that I highly recommend you checking out. I hope this video was helpful for you. I will catch up with you next time, friends. Remember to tap that subscribe button, tap that little bell right there so that you are notified when I am doing videos next. If I can pray for you in any way, please let me know. Take care, friends. Bye. Hey everybody, just wanna say thank you so much for joining me again. Remember, check out those recommended videos over here and don't, don't forget, tap that subscribe button right down here so that you can become part of my community. Tap that notification bell, send me a message, leave me a comment below and let me know how you're doing, how everything's going. I will catch up with you next time. Bye.